I've heard that before, um, but at that point that was not, uh, you know. It's really the same thing. You're, you're not letting it bother you as much to where you can't do things for yourself. So you're doing more for yourself and trying to get rid of it and concentrating on yourself. Mm -hmm. That's really the, the clutter thing that you are doing more for yourself. Right. And you instead of saying, oh no, it's bothering me and I, I gotta, you know, rest or I have to sleep or put headphones on, don't move and maybe it'll go away. Right. You are focusing more on, you know, right. get away from me because I'm busy and I'm going on with my life. And that's what the clutter thing is, and you are doing it. You know? Right. And it's just a matter of, you know, what, what you, you, you see God working to. And it's also a matter of that, you know, I do have, uh, you know, I have um, been in, in touch with two exorcists, and I have, you know, an appointment next Wednesday. So, not an appointment, but they'll be here. So, they'll actually, he's actually coming for two days. Oh, wow. Oof. To stay night and day? Hmm? To stay night and day, or? Um, he'll be here on uh, Wednesday morning, and he'll be here till Friday morning. And I'm not going to reveal any names. Like I said, that's just, it's kind of like, um, it's better for me if I don't, you know, say like, anything about that. Trust me, you know. Uh, I wouldn't mind uh, uh, sharing a testimony, you know, mm -hmm. later on. But um, I just, you know, but I just want you to know that's that has a lot to do with it, you know. Um, so. <coughs> so if you want to sit with it for a minute, I'm gonna go out and smoke a cigarette real quick. Yeah, and I can get that ashtrays smoked too. Oh, well, I'm going outside. So. Okay, go ahead. So that way she can, <laughs> yeah. Are your kitties bashful? Bashful? Yeah, they're not used to. Um, I'm gonna smoke too, and I, don't, I, I actually don't smoke. So when I bought my cigarettes today, I thought, I think it's the last one I'm gonna smoke. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, well, and this is how I looked at, like you know. I, I, like I said, I was a, you know, I'm a perfectionist, so when somebody says, well, demons like color, I'm thinking, so, I mean, and in, in, you know, in the atmosphere of it, you know, that's just, I mean, yeah, it's not really just that things are around, it's the way, you, it's your way of living, and you've taken power over that, and you've well, and, and, well, no, it's just that, why would I want to clean my house during an extreme paranormal it's it's having power over you you taking the power to do things right. and ignore it is what the whole point of the thing is right you, you taking control Homework. and doing what you need to do instead of letting it control what you do oh it's never done that no no it's never done that no it's just you know, it has no place here so, I mean, can I be Jesus name you know that's just I'm really relaxed right now, but it's true, you know. I've got some great ministers. And Do you uh, regularly attend church somewhere? St. Matthew's. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's, you know, these kind of things, too, it's, it's really sad what... Um, Know, you know, the politics and the, the blah, the blah, and, you know, who you talk to, find the right person, but I, I just give all the glory to God, you know, that, um, you know, it was all worth, like, you know, you know, you, you, you put, you know, one thing, another door opens, and then, you know, so... Because, it, you know, it's it's funny how you would expect, 
like for me, you would expect what I call a church, when I call upon clergy, you know, you expect them to make house calls. You expect them to believe you. You expect them to come to your aid, you know. And as soon as you mention anything of this kind of nature, they're like, we don't do that. You know, I've talked to, you know, several, we don't do that. I mean, not the way I've always believed it should be done, you know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I mean... Um, Have you talked to any Episcopalian clergy? Um, actually, I did finally, I, for the first time yesterday, I had called this church, and um, no experience, no, you know. I've researched a lot, and it seems that Episcopalian clergy is more open to coming in and doing things in a Catholic. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, I mean, I have, you know, um, the benevolence, you know, is there, but I guess, like, um, just somebody that goes, you know, some Catholic priests are like, well, no wonder, if you're having all those paranormal people come over, you're entertaining it. You're just entertaining it. Which is like a sin, you know. So I had I had two priests that are exorcists, you know. I'm not gonna name names because I pray for them every day, and you know they're just. I'm certain they pray for me, and like I said, it's not. It's just what happened. But um, I reached out to them. I begged them, you know, and um, you know I I more or less told them what I thought needed to happen. This is what needs to happen, and, um, you know, um, oh, and yeah, and um, I wasn't really married. I was married at the courthouse. My husband and I both worked, and we got married on a, our day off, and that was a sin, so I wasn't really married, and then something about your boyfriend listening to New Age music, and I was like, what does him <laughs> do thing? But, but I, like I'm saying, you know, like, do you understand what that, you, a, a priest saying something like that to you? You know, here you have your open door for this exorcist, you know, and and he's he's saying things to you that... That it, it's all your fault, basically. That's what it sounds like. He's saying, you know, you know, you did this and you did this and that's a sin, so I'm not going to do anything to help you. <laughs> that's what it sounds like well, he's the, saying. Well, it doesn't have anything to do with... Yeah, and, and it, us, uh, uh, that's, and even that, People do a lot worse and don't get stuff like this, so. This stuff is not allowed. No, this, right. you know, this has triumphed, uh, you know, 2,000 years ago, you know. Triumphed, you know, made a show openly. This is a defeated foe, whatever this is. But as far as, but as far as, you know, whether it's, it's, you know, paranormal, Young women don't live that way, right. you know. And uh, and then and then the the uh, the other part was, well, what if I was your daughter? And he said, well, that's different. And I've got ten people in front of you worse off than you are. And I've never, you know. But you know what? You know, I guess all I, all I can tell you about that is that. Um, I remained, um, I remained, uh, love, you know, and just kept pursuing, you know, and I tried not to, when I got the impression when you guys came the first time, you really didn't, you, you kind of went like this with me. You didn't see anything, you didn't, and I... That, that was my impression. We really can't say anything until we look at what we've got and talk and what what right. is so and so feel, listen to our recordings and everything. So it's not... Yeah. Because I, you know, I was trying to reach out, you know, for people. But like I said, you know, then you just keep trying and trying. But see, I've been in contact with Lorraine Warren, you know. Um, she's, a, she's a demonologist in New England. And, you know... Um, you know I bet that's interesting. Has she helped a lot? 
Uh, is it interesting? Like I said, when even when my, my psychologist, if any human being says, do you, do you find paranormal interesting? I go, yes, no. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I just mean that because no, you know, I'd rather, you know, thank God for what you do, being the police, you know. Um, but uh, no. Um, well, she, I've only talked to her on the phone, you know. But she knows, you know, she knows people and referred, you know, somebody.